Hi, this is David, and I had a subscriber write in and say that he could not hear this un, and he's not sure the native speaker even pronounced that word in the original recording. So today I'm going to help you hear the un, and uh, then at the end I'll show you how to get to this recording if you're interested. It's a very interesting interview. All right, so first let's listen, and you can tell me if you can hear the un. We'll agree that it's difficult to hear if you don't know what to listen for. Mais en même temps, une certaine attraction. Mais en même temps, une certaine attraction. Mais en même temps, une certaine attraction. Okay. The reason a native speaker can hear the un is because he doesn't really hear a full un. He hears the in of the un. So the way it goes is like this. I'll say it without and then with. En même temps, en même temps, certaine attraction. En même temps, une certaine attraction. And I also prepared a little bit of sound here for you. First, I've got a recording, a little bit of this clip that does it without. I cut out the end, just the end sound. I cut it out, and then I've got it, the original. So listen first, without the end sound, and then with, and tell me if you can hear the un. Mais en même temps, certaine attraction. 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 Mais en même temps, une certaine attraction. So you hear it in the second. You hear the in and the second. Mais en même temps, certaine attraction. Mais en même temps, une certaine attraction. Mais en même temps, certaine attraction. Mais en même temps, une certaine attraction. Now, probably even without this lesson, you would have heard it in two months or three months. You would have finally heard the un. So that's why it's not that important that you hear it today because your ears are going to get used to things little by little. Part of what it would have happened is your ears would have expected it because it's the type of thing people say and it has to be there. Logically, the sentence doesn't make sense without it. So, all right, that's it. Hopefully that helped and have a good day. Oh yeah, I told you I would help you find this. So let me show you where this is in the on the website. Okay, so if you want to find this recording, it's on the home page. Go to the home page and then scroll down and you'll see French interviews. This is Souvenir de guerre. Clémence Saint-Georges interviewed her father. He was 10 when the Second World War started, and he has vivid memories of the period. So you click on that, and then you'll get to the little photo of him when he was younger, and photo now, and you can start listening. Hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, you got to be a subscriber to listen. If you're not a subscriber, go to the home page and look for the free stuff, the 8 second French listing exercises. Those are free. You'll be able to improve your ear with those. Have a nice day.